Jamila Ellis. I'm one of the top guards in class of 2025. I'm Isaac Ellis. I'm in eighth grade. This is my first year playing high school with my brother, so it kind of feels like I have something to prove against these older guys. Dropped a five star. We got something special going here at Moravian Prep. Just wait. They just started chanting overrated, which I don't think that's a good idea. It's gonna be a good game. Clock runs out, we get to dub. Oh my god! The game is not over! <laughs> So I've seen this year is built with a lot of shooters, a lot of rim running bigs, a lot of screen roll bigs. You know, coward dies a thousand deaths, but a soldier dies but one. Why'd they quit? It was fear. Fear they weren't good enough. Fear they couldn't play on this stage. Think about why you didn't quit. One, two, three, bam, three, bam, 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 bam. It's the day of our big game against Vertical, and man, we're feeling good. This other team in the crowd are about to get caught sleeping on me. People think they're gonna bully me on the court, and I just know, like, that's not happening. That's my game plan, just catch and shoot, get on the floor, and be a dog. My little bro coming off the bench, he starts getting in their head, and Mikey's starting to look a little rattled. But we're sticking to our fundamentals and just playing good, hitting threes. And the game is neck and neck right now. Then I hit another three. Man, this dude is in middle school and he's over here dogging these high schoolers. And Cam Kearney ended up with two big dunks. Got a huge game against Combine Academy. They're number one in the state and then number 10 in the country. I hit the first shot of the game. I'm fired out, I'm ready to go. I think I'm about to go off. You know, our teammates are doing their thing as well. Jackson Hole, he had like three threes to start the game. We were in two defenders, dropped it down to Justin. Justin dunked all over the seven footer. Just keep attacking the rim, keep driving, and we should be good. And we got the dub. Let's go, we number one! Now I gotta beat Word of God to move on to the championship. Can we get revenge on these guys? Good, good, good. We're just kind of duking it out. Word of God, they're not gonna roll over and they're not gonna quit, so we just gotta keep this lead, man. I went to the rim, did a little pivot, and I told him that I'm the best player in the state. It started off pretty rough, but we ended up putting these dudes away for good. I mean, it was just a beat down. We got invited to play in the takeover event. This year, it's held at the OTE Arena. We got invited to play in the king of the court versus all their players. First play, caught the ball, hit him with a jab, step and hit a three. After I score, everybody in the crowd started talking to me, and one dude, I had a straight face, he said, it's okay to smile, little man. And I caught the ball, hit it with another jab, so I hit another three. And he just started talking my trash. People were kind of shocked that I scored twice in a row. I really just had to end it right here. Before we even played him, Griggs was talking about how he didn't know us and didn't know who we are, so I was just ready to show him. First play, catching it, jab step, and I'll just hit a quick three. I was really just trying to stay in front of him and make him make tough shots. The ref gives me the ball, I try to dribble, and he just pushes me out of bounds, and the ref calls a foul. And then I got the ball, got to the rim, bumped into him, hit him with a reverse leg. Hit him with the little backpack, and then she told me it was too little. You know, he gets the ball and he hits a lucky backboard three. You know, next play wins. He did a bunch of little combos. Kobe step and shot a fadeaway with me in his face. Gave his all. He was tied two to two with one of the best players in the country. You know, regardless of the outcome, I feel like I did my thing.
My dad, he's been the coach for about 10 years now at Moravian Prep. He runs a tight ship, so we all got to stay locked in. Listen, I don't care if you're perfect. I don't care if you don't score, but you better play hard. Even though my dad is super intense and likes to get all the people, we can see he's helping us and helping us get better. And listen, pressure will bust the steel pipe, or it'll make a diamond. Just depends on what you are. You know my dad, he got the motivational speeches and stuff. You know, it's day in and day out here. I mean, look at us. We're the bad news band. Oh! oh we're their house yeah. Yeah. Hey, and we're the standard. Yeah! It doesn't matter. We want for 100. I don't care if they run the clock. I don't care if it's second five, third five. You know, my dad, he always has these wild analogies. In Mississippi, when I lived in the Delta, you know, anybody know what a bowl we with? My dad, you can you can probably fry an egg on his head right now. He's not happy at all. Come on, come in here. Come in here, Mario. Come in here. Come in here. My heart! Rebound! Justin! Rebound! Eli, what the? <laughs> oh! That's bad! So, one of the greatest. We got everybody? Justin, Justin. Where's he at? Right this. Listen, one of the, the greatest upsets in, in Olympic history or sports history. Where's Justin? So, one of the greatest upsets in 1968. A little small country beat the U.S. and Russia in the Olympics. And it was the year their country got invaded. You see the same thing with Ukraine and Russia right now. And so, you got to find something to play for. When you have that something extra to play for, it gives you that extra bump, all right? Tonight, we're playing for each other, we're gonna play for Lane. Our boy Lane had to leave Moravian um, just to go back home because his mom sadly passed away. Hey, hey, Lane, Lane, we just, uh, we talked about just our love for each other as a team and we love you and we're dedicating this to you and your mom tonight. We love you, buddy. Like Brody. When you love something, it is a powerful force. And love is like a superpower, man. And I've never had a team that loves each other like you do. Like you got people coming just to watch y'all. So know that, know that. Like put on a show, no matter where we go, we put on a show, all right? But the word I kept, I've been saying it all day, is house money. If you ain't tall enough, you ain't fast enough, nobody believed in you, but we're here. We're here and we're spending house money. So we can take more risks. We can play with more moxie. You ain't got nothing to lose. Nothing. Play like it. Think about the thousands of hours you shot on your own and people said you're wasting your time. You ain't wasting your time. Those thousands of hours are for this hour. It's for this time. And you knew it. There was something inside of you that said, I'm going to have my moment. It's now. And you barely made the JV team. And then they put you on the B team. And, and they cut you from going to road. And they say, you're crazy for going to prep school. And you need to, you're too short, you need to go in AI. And you're all hype. And you're, and, and you're too young. And you're this. And you're that. And blah, 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 blah. House money. You're playing with house money. You're playing with house money. It don't matter who bets on us. We bet on ourselves. All right? Yes, sir. Let's get that one You know, one thing that gets me in a good spirit is just destroying, I think, in a 1v1. But give it a ball. We fight sometimes. <laughs> but we always have each other's back. Break out of here. Seven one. Foul. No foul. He's clean. Small ball. Small ball. Break. I'm not shooting for that, bro. No, I'm not shooting for it. Nope. Small ball. You know, it gets chippy against me and my brother, so it can get chippy against these other guys, too. 8-1. 8-1. 8 It's January. It's freezing cold. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. This man about to jump in the pool because he lost to me in a 1v1. 3, 2, 1. Oh, oh God! <laughs> <laughs> man, you just got to stop playing me, bro. You know what happens. The same outcome every time. Older brothers always win. When's the last time you've been here? Oh, yesterday. Not yesterday. Uh, two days ago. When the camera's on, on I'm a fucking, you know. He's the older brother, you know. It, look, it looks bad on his part if he loses. So, I'm, I'm the bigger man. I'll let him win. What's up, guys? Isaac Ellis back at it again. Another YouTube video, man. Isaac thinks he's a vlogger now or something, like Jake Paul. Just chilling on the way to Atlanta. I don't know what who he is. I mean, really, I'm just a pro at this. Let's give a little car tour. 
He just kept putting the GoPro like this in my face the whole time. He's just being a hater for real. Obviously, I'm the funny brother. You know, I got this GoPro again, and you know me. I'm the best at this stuff, man. Get that Isaac Ellis GoPro experience. Why? Like, why y'all keep giving him the GoPro? I know. I'm going I'm to I'm take it and hide it. <laughs> yes, sir! Let's go, man. I just like that. I told you, I'm the, be I'm the best Fortnite player in the house. Better than that man right there, man. Bro, what if I win the game? <laughs> this man said, Eli, what's up, bro? Let's go, bro. Come put me in one v one. All right, bet that. Come on, bro. All right, but not my bike. I can't hear. <laughs> I got his phone. <laughs> 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 oh, let's go, bro. One v one. Eli. No, bro. Eli. <laughs> I'm doing too no, much. No, 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 no. Should I do too much? No, 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 no. Just like too much, bro. You don't wait too much. I, I, I won't freaking knock you down. Oh, I won't freaking knock you down. Hey, hey, yeah. I'm doing way too much right now. <laughs> Look at cameras here, man. You know me and Isaac, we fight sometimes, but it's all love at the end of the day. Hey, by the way, he sucks at Fortnite. Don't watch him on Twitch. We hit the late with our boys. There's nothing like a little team bonding before the game to get our minds right. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a fish right there. So as we're putting on the worms, one of my buddies is like, whoever eats a worm, I'll give $100. You gotta chew it. Well, if you chew it and swallow it, I'll give you 100 So you know me, I heard $100. I'm like, man, I could buy me a new pair of shoes. I could do a lot of stuff with this. $100. You gotta chew $100. It. Oh, yeah. $100. $100. Shake on it. Shake on it. Shake on it. I might as well do this. $100. I'll do it right now. Man, what's this dude doing? We got a big game tomorrow. He's about to throw up worms on the court or something. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I just said, screw it, down the hatch. <laughs> I can't do it, bro. That's nasty, bro. That's nasty, bro. Wait, bro. I'm about to tear this place inside out. <laughs> you know, our guys, we made it as far just because of how tight we are and how close we are as a family. Just because how tight our bond is, you know, it's been a special year. So wow. Justin, Jackson, Drew, Ryan, Johan, right. Marvin, Lano. They're all leaving. Yeah, I'm going to college. Put him up on the wall. You know, we're just laughing, goofing off, just having fun. Did you get when my dad was eating my pie? Hey, jo hey Jordan, cut me a piece, Jordan, please. That pie is blessed. I'm trying to go stand up and sit across the room just to eat my pie, bro. <laughs> Meyer took a piece and put it in his room. Bro, why are you staring at me, bro? Hey, coach, that's my goal. Everybody just looked back and was proud of what they've done this year. No! <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> it's going to be tough not being able to play with my boys again. Yo, Megan, what you got on? I mean, besides this video on my laptop, I'm rocking the Star Play Collection. Sheesh, that's a banger. Where'd you get that? The Overtime Shop, duh! Just click right here and get fed like me.